Let's get right over to NBC5 Sandra Torres, who is live in Streeterville with the breaking developments overnight. Sandra. Good morning, Katie. Well, right now we are staying away from the protests as they have turned violent overnight. The majority of people who are still marching through the streets of the city are focusing or staying in the theater district. That's where we saw the majority of damage and issues happening overnight. And if you look at the images, you'll see it all. And you're looking at video from Harrison and State Street protesters confronting officers there, yelling profanities, pushing and shoving each other as officers used even bicycles as barriers to try to control the crowds. Things got really testy at times as protesters marched through the city. So these demonstrations started with people gathering at Millennium Park around 5.30 p.m. for what they were calling peaceful demonstrations against the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. But the demonstrations slowly began changing course. Uh, windows were broken at multiple jewelry stores on Madison and Wabash. You can see the damage at Windy City Diamonds and also the Diamond Center. Bricks were on the ground, appears. That's what the individuals used to break through those windows. We know of at least one Chicago police officer injured, as you can see, taken into an ambulance for treatment. Unclear for what at this point. Chicago police uh, did make multiple arrests overnight, uh, but we reached out to them and they say they're not able to update us in terms of a number of people arrested just yet. This is a very fluid situation. It's possible this may continue through the morning hours. We know there are protests scheduled for later this afternoon, uh, but we will be checking in with you in about 30 minutes to provide you an update. For now, reporting live here in Streeterville, Sandra Torres, NBC5 News. Sandra, thanks so much. And of course